It's the Larry Harris Podcast. On this week's podcast, we got some goodness. Starting with some sexiness, we go over to Germany for Oktoberfest. And then we head to Italy, where some surgeons are bringing a brand new surgical tool. Then on, we pay tribute to Stroker Ace, Mr. Sexy, Burt Reynolds. Moving on, there's a storm for me. Will it impact you? Who the fuck knows? And smoking, because sometimes I don't think anybody's allowed to do anything more. Welcome to the podcast. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Larry Harris. This is the Larry Harris Pivot Podcast, episode four. Coming at you on a rainy Sunday from the East Coast. It's uh, September 9th, I think. And uh, this is just another uh, dreary day, so I'm out here trying to give you some little entertainment. So let's get started with this. Let's get started with the unofficial sponsor of the Larry Harris Podcast this week, Uncle Mike's Beef Jerky. Now, this is some pretty good beef jerky. Here it comes in three flavors, uh, original, hot, and teriyaki. You know, it's not like super hard or super dry like some of them jerkies you get. And uh, unlike the last time you had your uncle's meat in your mouth, this is far less traumatic, a lot tastier, and a lot less expensive than all those therapy visits that you had to sit through. So... If you want to have a little snack, you want a little something to treat yourself, get some Uncle Mike's Beef Jerky. Some of the uh, best beef jerky around that you'll get, and it's a lot better than some of your other uncle's meat. Like your Uncle Rick. Fuck you, Rick. Alright, moving on. We go to Italy for a couple things. The first thing, this is kind of just a... Uh, Little play on something that we had on last week's podcast in Canada. They had was opening up a sex doll brothel, the first one in the world. But I guess the fucking Italy apparently was just a week behind because they opened up one that has male and female sex dolls, as you can see right here. And uh, yeah, it's a hundred euros an hour. To go in there, and that's a hundred, hundred fifteen dollars U.S. You know they have male, female sex dolls. The male sex doll has interchangeable organs, ranging from thirteen to eighteen centimeters. For the dirty Europeans, for red, for America, it's five to seven inches. And uh, yeah, they're coming along. They said that they're going to have one that has a dirty talk mode. Coming up here soon, I guess once they have enough people going to their home, make some more money, they'll be able to get dirty talk mode. And then they said they're going to get up with the fucking Tyrone doll, but they didn't have quite enough money for that, man. That takes a lot of latex. So they ain't quite got that there yet. But don't worry, ladies and fellas, that will be there soon. You can go hump a piece of plastic and try to walk out of there with some dignity. Good luck. Speaking of people having a hard time keeping their dignity, while we're in Italy, we have uh, doctors invented a new medical tool in Italy. Yes, they invented a new medical tool to remove a 58.42 centimeter dildo from a man's ass. That's a big 23 incher for those of us in America, so yeah. Pull out your tape measure and take a gander at how long that is. So I got a picture of the x-ray here. You see a thing I circled in red? That, yeah, the thing was up there fucking tickling and fucking his heart, man. Jesus Christ. So then they made this tool here. Kind of looks like a little dog snare, but they said the way that they made it using a tube, you know, it was stiff enough to get around the dildo, lock onto it, and pull it away from the colon walls, and they were able to extract the 23-inch, 58.42-centimeter uh, dildo from the man without doing a highly invasive surgery, and he will have no lasting side effects, I guess physically, mentally. There's got to be a lot of fucking side effects left from that, dude. That's, you don't fucking walk out the hospital after that without a little 
shit fucking not fucking clicking in there anymore like it should. Well, yeah, they said the man, he was very thankful of them for extracting it, and he goes on to make a full recovery. Then say how it got up there. I'm just assuming the man tripped over it on the street one day and fell on it, and that's how it went up his ass. <laughs> All right, let me continue on the theme of fucking perverts. We go to Miami Beach. Yeah, that whole place has plenty of fucking perverts and all, but uh, this one's a little bit different. We got two priests who are caught giving each other oral sex in a car on a street in Miami. Now, yeah, this is kind of, but look, the positive side to everything and the positive side of this here is that they weren't fucking kids this time. They were just two adults having consensual sex. Yes, on a city street. Yes, in a car with no windows, tents, and with the window open. But still, I commend them. At least they're not fucking kids. And that's a huge step up considering some of the news is coming from fucking Catholic churches and priests lately. So, yeah, I'm sure they're going to get a little fucking jail time. and Hopefully they don't kick them out of the church because really that's, I mean, need at least more priests like that. I mean, shit, if you ain't going to let them have sex with women, they might as well let them have sex with each other. Whatever. Moving on, we go to this sexy piece of man here. That's right, Stroker Ace the Bandit, oh, our favorite fucking car driving hero, fucking hauling liquor is uh fucking passed on, man. Fucking bummer. But there is a rumor out there that Burt Reynolds had wrote a book. Publisher has it, he was paid for it, but the book is not allowed to be released. Well, it wasn't allowed to be released until he died. So, this rumored book supposedly goes back and he talks about all the fucked up sex shit that was going on like in the 60s, late 60s, 70s when he's in Hollywood. Like, allegedly there are like these producers that blew him and had... Bert like fucking the ass and shit, and you know I kind of have been heard. I've heard about this. It's been a rumor going around Hollywood for a while back. I've heard about it, and you know I kind of really didn't give it too much. Kind of like the Richard Gere gerbil thing and the Rod Stewart the gallon to come. But then earlier this year, you know, it came out that uh, Richard Pryor and Marvin Gaye fucked and got fucked by fucking Marlon Brando. You know. Uh, Quincy Jones confirmed it. Plus, it was in Pryor's diary. His wife confirmed it. All so that just that just makes me think. Yeah, that's maybe this book really does exist. And if it does come out, oh, Daddy's buying it because believe me, I will read this and I will report back to you people on the Larry Harris podcast about that book because that's the fucking type of guy I am. So let's keep your fucking fingers crossed. Hope that that fucking book exists because of some of the shit that was coming out. Apparently, fucking cocaine is quite a powerful drug. <laughs> And uh, all Hollywood was on it, and they were just fucking and sucking each other constantly. So, um, yeah, let's hope that comes out. Thinking of things that are going to cause gonna get people fucked, that's really going to suck a lot. Uh, Hurricane Florence is a possibility for the East Coast this week. So, um, if you think you might live in the path of the hurricane, I got this handy map for you here. Yeah, good luck with that. Pretty much, if you live anywhere on half of the United States, they say that's where that thing might, like, landfall. I'm like, come on, dude, you ain't even trying. Anybody could do that. There's fucking lines on that thing. They were everywhere. It's crazy. How are you supposed to know to go, what I say? You pack up on party supplies, get you some fucking water, charge your phones, get your battery packs, download your fucking porn, fucking ride her out, bruh. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know where the motherfucker's going. Nobody else does. It might not even turn to a fucking hurricane. I don't know, but true to the uh, news, they're already releasing shit and trying to get everybody hyped up and worked up. So uh, get your bread and milk. Oh, wait, that's a snowstorm. I don't wish you get a hurricane. Condoms and water. Okay, well, that might fucking go. All right. Enough of that horse shit. We're about moving on. That the uh, Fanny Fun Ruiners do not only living in the United States. They're also all over the world, including in Germany. And as we're coming up in Germany, I guess Oktoberfest is coming up over there. 
And you already got uh, people complaining, saying that the females attending the Oktoberfest are dressing a little too sexy for Oktoberfest dress. They say they don't look like the original dresses. There's a couple pictures there. You know, the one of the pretty sexy, but the other ones just look like, eh, you know, Hansel Gretel looking things. And even that little bit of the uh, women's sexiest, when you look at what the men wear, yeah, well, whatever sex is the women have, that fucking draws it right out. And it all kind of balances out in there. But 70-year-old Franz Lommelheimer says that they're too sexy. And he said, this does not look like nothing like the original thing looks like. And I said, look, Grandpa, just because your pecker don't get hard no more, and if that fucking pictures of those ladies can't get it hard, nothing will. Don't go out and ruin everybody's good time. I mean, nothing is like it is anymore. People don't ride fucking horses or shit in fucking holes in the ground anymore. We got plumbing, and yeah, this is a celebration. Christmas ain't what it used to be. It is just people trying to enjoy themselves. Don't ruin it. If you don't like it, don't look at it. Sit inside, you fucking curmudgeon. And would you get started, and everybody else got to stick their fucking two cents in and try to fucking ruin everything. And it's just ridiculous. I mean, nobody's immune to it. I mean, even if you're a fucking billionaire, like fuck Elon Musk, that dude's like a motherfucking genius, like almost like one of them fucking Tony Stark like motherfuckers. Except for he don't build shit that kills people, he builds shit that actually helps people. I mean, you ever seen that shit? He built those fucking rockets that come back down and just fucking land all by themselves. Fucking got cars that drive themselves. Fucking amazing, like solar arrays, solar batteries, all this fucking cool ass shit he fucking works on. It's fucking digging tunnels, and then, you know, he goes on the Joe Rogan podcast, and he starts talking about all this cool shit he's doing, you know, and so, Joe Rogan's kind of like one of man's man, you know, if you ever seen him listening, you know what I'm talking about, so you're sitting there to have a little bit of fucking whiskey, drinking and talking about crazy shit, and so Joe Rogan fires up this big old huge fucking joint, you know, and he passes it to fucking Elon Musk, and... Yeah, boy, Elon takes a big old fucking pool off of it, you know, and they go on and then they start, goes on. It's a great podcast. You should listen to it. it. It's awesome and it's free. And, you know, they talk about some crazy shit with technology and all that, but sure as shit, as soon as that is over, like, fucking the next day, people were already on there bitching. Everybody like, oh, like, what makes you think you can smoke weed? You know, you got drug test in the fucking Tesla factory. They want to get fired. And then everybody, then they're also talking about, look at him, he's like doing just male shit, like out there, because he had, I think he put a picture when he was playing with that thing, not a flamethrower thing he had, and was talking about the cars and drinking, and had a little smoke, and that just proves my point. It don't matter who you are. Motherfucker's gonna hate on something. Like, how can you hate on this shit? People want weed to be legal. You know, then you have somebody who's a higher up to be legal. Instead of giving him shit, why don't you be like, hey, that's good for doing that now, you know? So maybe you want to think you might want to change, help change the rules a little bit, since you see it's really not that bad, and other people can enjoy it, you know what I mean? But no, they just sit there and they just get behind their little fucking keyboard for four years. <laughs> and spewing their fucking hate all day long and fucking about bullshit and just making the world a better place. Well, fuck you. Oh, you don't pay none of you motherfuckers no mind. He probably shouldn't. I want it. So I had as much money as he did. You think I did? Fuck you. You don't go eat a dick, you fucking miserable motherfuckers. Go and have some fun in your life. I sit there and be miserable. Hey, you ought to go out there and treat yourself to some Uncle Mike's beef jerky. This meat is tender, juicy, delicious, and then like Uncle Rick's, not traumatic at all. Fuck you, Rick. Well, I'm Larry Harris. That's the Larry Harris podcast for this week. Uh, wrap up episode four. I thank everybody who's been uh, watching it and sharing it and passing it around. I uh, I appreciate it. If anybody wants to be an official sponsor, that's pretty, pretty dope. I ain't had no takers yet, but whatever. It's all good. Uh, thank all y'all for viewing, and uh, have a good night. Oh, my God. I wanted to touch on this, but it was just too <laughs> funny, and I fucking couldn't stop laughing. Bonus. Enjoy.